Hello friends, in this exercise we will discuss conditional formatting. So let's first understand what is formatting. The formatting includes font, font size, if it is bold, italic or underline, uh, background color of the cell, font color and uh, border of the cell or the range etc so this includes a number of things that is related to the visibility of the data so if you apply conditional formatting or formatting on a cell then it becomes glaringly visible among lots of data suppose we want to see where the data is duplicated then there is a provision in the conditional formatting that will make you to duplicate data duplicate data glaringly visible so we can do whatever we want to do with them so number of uh, decisions depend on the visibility of the data so here uh, let's consider the first exercise format the cell with text i mean the cell which is containing the text with green font and yellow background with green font color and yellow background color and format the cell with the number with red font color and yellow background so how you have to go about this exercise let me explain that first and then uh, how you will practice that i will explain later so what you have to do first you have to select the given range and then go to conditional formatting under home tab conditional formatting and go to manage rules this will show you how many rules are applied on this range so there are two rules applied on this range first is this one and the second is this one so if you want to further explore the first rule then click the first rule and go to edit rule and here you can see select the rule under the select the rule option you have selected the last one that is use formula to determine which cell to format so a formula will determine here which cell will be formatted so under now the diff another setting format values where the formula is true and what is the formula formula is equal to is number equal to is number b5 so i have not given the range address here please note down i have not given the range address here but i have given the address of only the first cell so what is the first cell it is b5 so is number b5 i have selected the range but i have used the address of very first cell of the range and will take care of the entire range formatting of the entire range you don't have to write the i am repeating you don't have to mention the range here you have to use the address of the first cell only right then how we how do we define the formatting for that we will click this format button and this will open up the new dialog box now in this dialog box you can see there are different settings number phone border fill there are four tabs here so mostly we work in phone border and fill firstly let's see what is the fill color fill color is for the first rule we are uh, discussing here okay so this background color is the fill color fill color is yellow selected here we are studying it we are not 
setting it we are just uh, studying whatever is already set okay so now going to the border part so in the border part we haven't applied any border it is blank if you want to apply one you can click this outline option and this border will be applied here fine i'm not applying it because it is not applied as yet uh then i'm clicking font in the font section you can define uh, this font cannot be defined from here font can be defined from here in this uh, home tab uh, not from here okay whatever is applied is applied but here from you can't select the font type you can select the font style here you can make it bold italic or underline like this or regular okay you cannot also this uh, uh, it is dull so you cannot apply this font size as well okay neither the font nor the font size fine uh, underline is there you can select one for uh, you but i am not selecting anything uh, the color of the font is red as selected here you can select any other color from this menu all right the preview will be shown here and in the case of number if you want to apply a certain format you can apply it from here okay i'm not applying because it is not applicable here you can apply it for the number if you want if you select rupees the number will be converted into rupees i'm applying it for you so here is the format how the things will be visible okay and then if you click okay then the things will be applied on the selected rent so i'm clicking okay there is no rupees sign here after i will click okay you will see rupees sign will appear in front of all the numbers because i have defined that here i'm clicking okay i'm clicking apply look here yeah, the hash marks is appearing because uh, the size is not enough to accommodate this data so i'm clicking okay to give final command and i am resizing the cell to make it visible the data inside is visible now with a rupees sign as i told you earlier so this is how you will study the first, i have studied the first rule now i am going to study the second rule so i will go to the manage once again i will go to the second rule i will go to edit option and here the things are there similar uh, thing is there use formula to determine which cell to format and here equal to each equal to each text equal to each text b5 in the similar fashion as we did it earlier and define the format font border fill everything and then i'm canceling it i'm canceling it once again so in the similar function similar fashion you have to define everything and click okay to apply it i'm closing it so you have to repeat having understood these settings you will have to go to this place and we'll have to apply now so this time you will go to new rule under the new rule you will go to use formula to determine that and here you will write equal to each number in this format b5 now b5 has become e5 it is not no longer b5 so we will write here e5 in place of b5 and we'll define the format here suppose the background color will be this fill color will be this border color uh, we will give the border color we can decide it from here red color border you have to click it once again to apply the color then go to font and say it should be bold okay and uh, this color you can apply the font color let me choose blue color for this and click okay so here is the entire preview how the cell will look uh, i'm clicking okay to finalize everything so here it is i have decided it for format i have decided the format for the number so i'm clicking okay to make it final so the things are applied now i am going to apply the second rule 
so I will go to the new rule once again I will go to use formula to determine this thing this time I will write each text e5 so that will determine the text format for the selected range so here I am deciding the background color will be yellow I am not uh, uh, doing it as per the instruction I am doing it independently uh, select the blue uh, borderline font color uh, font color font color will be selected from here font color will be say suppose uh, big red bold okay and that is okay again click okay so that's it now if I write a number here look at this the number is blue color with the given background that we had selected I am writing uh, my name Gautam Prasad Uh, the format that I had selected for the text is visibly there and uh, if I write Shavak Nana Vati Technical Institute it is again the same if I write 5555 then the number format is applied so this way you can understand how the format is applied and the rules are defined for a given range thank you very much happy learning